It's the Daily Comedy News with your host, Mark Pyers. Join us for breaking headlines and all kinds of comedy shenanigans. Brought to you by The Beat Seat. Here we go. Dirty Dozen 2024 list of foods with most pesticides. This we got to get into. Guys, we're, we're always trying to find ways to keep our, uh, ourselves healthy, especially when we're dealing with so many toxic foods out there. I did a piece of content about a year and a half ago where I walked through the aisles at a food store just looking at the back of uh, at the ingredients, and it went kind of viral on Facebook and a few other. I think it was mostly on Facebook. TikTok didn't really do much with it. Uh, but let's check this out. How about this? Blueberries and strawberries, again, on the dirty dozen list. Let's just see what they're saying. Approximately 95% of non-organic strawberries, leafy greens, such as spinach, kale, collard, and mustard greens, grapes, peaches, and pears, tested by the United States government, contain detectable levels of pesticides. So let's see how much. Nectarines, apples, bell, and hot peppers, cherries, blueberries, green beans. How many different things are we going to name? Can we just say they named, they just went through the entire, you know, like food store and they're like, mm, let's test this one. 12 most contaminated samples of produce. It's dubbed the Dirty Dozen. We're getting into it, guys. The Environmental Working Group, it's a health advocacy organization produced an annual report. They do this every year, guys, since 2004. Kind of cool. Pesticides, because we want to know. Like, they don't tell us what they're doing to destroy our bodies and our lives. Uh, and, you know, I, I, I don't want to get too deep into it, but they make you sick, so you need the thing that they make so they can make money, so you can think you're getting better, but then you really get sick with other things, so they can give you something for that, too. That's really what's going on here. Farm workers who are exposed to pesticides are at the highest risk. A 2022 meta-analysis found workers exposed to pesticides were nearly five times as likely to have DNA changes. Gosh, you have DNA damage, and they found children exposed at any age showed poor neurodevelopment from infancy to adolescence. This is scary stuff. So here's what I'm really worried about. Our children, we think we're feeding them fruit. Oh, good. Sally, let me give you some, some pears and some some cherries and some apples. And then all of a sudden, neurodevelopment issues from infancy to adolescence. Oh, but it's not all bad news, they say. Avocados, sweet corn, pineapples, onions, and papayas led the Clean 15. There's a Clean 15 list, guys. We'll go to that one next. It's conventionally grown produce with the least amount of trace pesticides. Nearly 65% of fruits and veggies had no detectable pesticide residues, according to the report. Rounding out the clean 15 were frozen sweet peas, asparagus, honeydew melons, kiwis, cabbage, watermelons, mushrooms, mangoes, sweet potatoes, and carrots, people. You're going to go get more baby carrots now. You're like, I'm eating carrots. They're, the, they're part of the clean 15. Each year, the rotating list of domestic and imported produce is tested by the U.S. Department of Agriculture. And the staffers at the USDA pesticide data program, they wash, peel, and scrub fruits and vegetables as consumers would, while workers in the FDA only brush dirt off the produce. The fruit and the vegetables are tested for more than 250 pesticides and results are posted online. We're going to pick that as well, guys. If you want to see all this stuff, YouTube, X or Rumble, it's right over my shoulder. This is the comedy news. We scroll it. We also hit you with actual news, but no politics. All right. We have enough of that. We're not doing it here. All right. Uh, and e EWG, remember that company that does this? They examined testing data on 47,510 samples, 46 non-organic fruits and vegetables, and the majority of testing from the USDA. The analysis found traces of 254 pesticides in all fruits. 209 of those chemicals are produ produced in the dirty dozens list. Guys, we find what ends up on the list versus others on how it reflects the food, vegetables are grown, etc. Avocados, for example, aren't pesticide intensive, while strawberries grow very close to the ground and have lots of pests. About 70% of the non-organic produce tested uh, have pesticide levels within a legal limit. What is the legal limit? And why is there a legal limit? There should be no pesticides on fruit. Just go and do it in like a facility or something. You know, you're doing everything else genetically, but just make the, the inside the house. <laughs> you build a big facility and you just strawberry it. You know, and they're coming in with the freshest strawberries. 
The dose makes the poison, not its presence or its absence, and that dose determines the potential for harm. So guys, I don't know how you gauge how much pesticide you have on your fruit, but how the heck do you clean it? Is there a way or is it inside the fruit? The herbicide was linked to thyroid concerns for years, significant risks to health. Okay, yeah, we know that. Chloropyphorus, chlorpyrifos, chlorpyrifos, a pesticide linked to brain damage in children and fetuses. Oh my goodness, guys, this is, this is not good stuff. Like why are, okay, look, you don't want to lose your produce, but you're killing people, like brain damaged. Oh. When this report came out, it's like getting stabbed a little bit because we're working so hard to put nice, healthy fruit out. Yeah, are you? And the implication of the Dirty Dozen list is that it's unhealthy, Clemens said. It's like doing something, for, for something kind for somebody and then having them turn around and call you some sort of monster. Well, because you're trying to freaking get one more strawberry and then someone's dying because that's strawberry, Clarence, Clement. The report may scare people away from eating fruits and vegetables they, they need, said Neil Nagata. We don't need pesticide-ridden fruits. Am I wrong? Do we need it? Do you guys think we need pesticide-ridden pesticide fruits? Like, I'm thinking we don't. Helen Gale Townsend's in the house. Hilly Billy's in the house. I got Bobby Rib here. Barella. Deborah Mathis. Guys, we're playing a brand new song right after this news story. I was waiting for you guys to get here before I played it. It was worth the wait. So, every time the report comes out, there's a scare on imported strawberries. We see a sales drop off, Nagata said. It's not as if we're doing something that is wrong or incorrect. We're actually producing very healthy, safe food. You know, except for the pesticide thing that we have to put on it in order to get more and not have, you know, anything eat the produce. Like, here's the thing. We put something on it so, like, animals go by, like, I'd never eat that fucking thing, you know? And then we give it to you. Like, we think that's good. We're just thinking, like, if you guys don't want these strawberries right here, you know, we're just going to wrap it with pesticides. So, like, when the mice and, like, all different rodents come walking by the strawberry right here, this one, they're going to be like, oh, that's disgusting. I'd never eat it. I, this is, I wouldn't even feed this to my enemy. That's what the rat and, you know, they're saying it. And then, you want, here you go. Put it on Sally's plate there for you. Cut it Should up. I wash, Wa- wash them? No, you don't need to wash them. You can just put them right out. The the actually the pesticide works as like a water, you know. So you kind of want them wet a little. Sometimes you're like, I like my fruit wet. Just do the pesticide. You go ah, on it. It turns back into water. The rats are walking by it, not even interested. Deer, the deer run. Ugh, this is disgusting fruit. I'd never eat this fruit. If I was dying and I was like, I need fruit, I'd be like, I'm not eating that fruit. You guys want it? Here you go. I'm going to put it on your plate. Trader Joe's. That's why it's like my wife is always like, don't get non-organic fruit. And I'm like, why? What's the big deal? It tastes good to me. They're feeding me pesticides. They're feeding you pesticides. The deer, the, the rats, the dogs. You know, sometimes dogs like to eat fruit. They're there. They're like the, the hound dogs. They're walking the property, making sure there's... You know, the keeping things, keeping the fray, you know, away. And then they're like, I don't even go near the strawberry field. Strawberry fields never, right? Because they're, they're killing people, guys, with the pesticides. YouTube, you want to see this link. Anyway, guys, it's important for people to eat lots of fruits and vegetables. If you could try to get them without the pesticides, I suggest, you know, you may want to look into that one. I know it's like 70 times more. It's important for people to eat lots of fruits and vegetables. Well, can you maybe not just encase it with a layer of pesticide? I'm just just throwing that one out there, you know? Look at, you can even see this. Look at that strawberry. This is not normal. That's white on the outside of the strawberry from the pesticide. You you guys want it? Here you go. The farmer goes out there with a freaking mask on. For weeks, he's walking around with masks, and it's not because of the cove. He's doing a six feet from the strawberries with the mask. <laughs> That's how serious it is. You guys want, you, here you go. Pesticide-ridden fruit. 
Oh, sorry, I forgot. Here, you guys want some fruit? Here you go. I just had to take my mask off, my gas mask from the 30s, the one that keeps, literally, nothing gets in. Organic produce is not more nutritious. What in the freaking heck? Organic produce is not more nutritious? I can, I don't know why when I, when I tell these crazy comedy stories, I visualize everything. I'm a visual comedian. Like I'm visualizing a hound dog, like sniffing the property and all of a sudden he stops in his tracks and he looks, he's like, that's the strawberry fields. I'm getting the fuck out of here. That's dangerous. I don't eat that fruit. You, Sally, put on her plate. You don't, no wash necessary. You know, not here at Clement's farm. At Clement's Farm, we spray extra pesticide on your fruit, you know? You all need it. You need it. Organic produce is not more nutritious. We already discussed how it's not more nutritious, which is baffling to me. Four out of five frequently found pesticides on the dirty dozen list were fungicides. These are found in particularly high concentrations. Two fungicides... Fluxadinir and Permanexnirmishniv had the highest concentration on the dirty dozen list of any other pesticide, according to the report. Fludioxinil, Fludionuxinil, Fludionuxinil, Fludioxanil, Fludioxanil. Isn't it? Isn't it exigia? And when you're talking about in the middle, Fludioxanil was found in 90% of peaches and nearly 30% of the dirty dozen samples. Guys, peaches, stay the fuck away from them. You know what I mean? Like, you're like, that peach looks good. No. Did you get it from Clement Farm? <laughs> I'm sorry. You're going to want to leave that one for the deer. The deer don't want what? it. What? Oh, yeah, I forgot the deer won't eat it either. You know. But remember Clement. Guys. Organic fruit? No, we don't do that here at Clement. You know, we spray extra pesticide and then we can't be called monsters we're doing we're providing a good product you know that nothing will eat except for human beings because they have no idea <laughs> uh, fungicides are often applied after harvest to keep produce produce and mold free on its way to the market that's likely why concentrations were so high on some samples <laughs> they're showing up with fungicide this tastes disgusting that's just the fungicide. You know, once you get through that, it still tastes disgusting. You still got that fungicide on the back of your, your tongue. Anyway, Fludixinol uh, creates a waxy coating on the fruit and vegetable that studies find is difficult to wash away. You know? So allow your innards to deal with it, you know? Fludixinol is safe at regulated levels. What is regulated? FDA regulates all these things and they put these figures out there like, well, this is safe. Everything's made up. They have no idea what's bad for humans. They have no idea. Well, well we think that we should just say anything less than. Anything less than what? Less than this. Well, who made up that number? Well, we just decided, you know, based on what we were seeing out there, we're like, well, everything's over here and like, they, that guy died over there, so like maybe we should say that like this is good. Yeah, that sounds good. You know, and then for like 60 years they do that until they find out that was way off. Then they have to restructure. I don't know what this is, guys. There's a lot of stuff going on here. Let's just read the last line. Let's get out of this story. I want to play this song for you. Gosh, almighty. Cleaning fruits and vegetables before eating does reduce pesticide levels, but... No washing method is, is 100% effective. So no matter what you do, you got to peel off the, the, the first quarter inch of the fruit. Get rid of the skin. Go quarter inch down into the actual flesh. Down into it. Peel it out. Throw that sh out the freaking window, all right? The dogs are running. No one's going near it. The rats, again, scurrying away. You want to get rid of your rats? You got rats in your house? Just throw the fruit out there that you got from the food store after you peel off that first quarter inch layer, three eighths of an inch, out into the, just, it's there. You go out there three years later, it's rotting on the side of your house. No one went near it. There's a hole in the surface of the earth. It's on its way towards China. <sighs> Guys, the science, you know. Sometimes I gotta hit you with it.
Bobby Rib, not a, that's probably where it's going. Pretty soon the fruit will have fentanyl in it. And they're going to be bringing it across the border. And they're like, did you bring that dangerous substance, fentanyl, across the border? Like, no, nah, man, I brought the, the dangerous fruit. And they got, like, peaches. And they got strawberries. And they're just boosted out, you know, with the fentanyl. But also with the pesticides, you know. And they're like, you, you, you want you want fruit? <laughs> oh, goodness. What do you think about this pesticide thing? Right? People are dying in the streets. Not really. But, you know, they're, they're getting sick with things. Lots of different things popping up these days. And then you're all of a sudden going to the dock. Oh, we got something for that. Oh, this is a cure. Can you get me fixed with it? No, 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 no. But you'll have a better life than you did when you, before you came in, when you were like, I got this issue. We got something for that, you know? <sighs> That's what they do. And they'll just keep giving you the thing, whatever it is. Whatever it is that keeps that cash register cha-chinging. And you still in pain and feeling like you need something else. Strawberry fields never. Remember, guys, you don't ever want to eat a strawberry again. Uh, you heard that here first on the Mark and Spire show. Sometimes you get it right. Sometimes you get it right. Thank you for watching. Please hit the like on the way out the door. Leave a comment and share. I'm live at 9 a.m. and after 9 p.m. So join us. This is the Mark and Spire show.